So, in the year with software and it's a bit city in each on your break, we once again back and we welcome to your own academy and the channel Wet Guide. Today, we came up with a very interesting topic for the scholars who are working or willing to work in clinics. Today, we're going to see hypothermia in neonates and how to manage it. The main objectives which we will cover in this video are what is hypothermia, how it develops, types of hypothermia, etiology, signs, symptoms, and treatment through management and medicine. Starting with the basic knowledge, the normal temperature range of coughs is 101.2 to 104 Fahrenheit. Hypothermia can be defined as a disturbance in thermoregulation accompanied by drop in body temperature below the normal level. But how does hypothermia develop? When the environment temperature gets cold, the body gives stimulus to the pituitary and adrenal glands, which secrete adrenaline and noradrenaline, and causes the peripheral vasoconstriction, which increases heart rate, muscle tremors, and rise in blood pressure, ultimately leading to production and conservation of heat. If the body heat losses increase, then the oxygen requirement for peripheral circulation increase, which leads to more heat loss and fall in blood pressure. At last, death occurs due to cardiac and respiratory arrest. Now you see in this slide, we will discuss the types of hypothermia. There are three types of hypothermia. First is mild and exposure hypothermia. Mild hypothermia can be defined as the body temperatures decreasing under nearly 38.6 degrees for dairy calves and 37.7 degrees Celsius for beef calves. And exposure hypothermia is the steady loss of body heat in a cold environment through respiration, evaporation and lack of adequate hair coat, body flesh or weather protection. The second type of hypothermia is acute and immersion hypothermia. It can be defined as a rapid loss of heat due to a wet, saturated hair coat in a cold environment. It often occurs after birthing process because the calf is born saturated with uterine fluids. It may include being born in deep snow or wet ground, falling into a creek, or being saturated from heavy rains followed by chilling winds. The third hypothermia is severe hypothermia. It is defined as decreased body temperature and less than 34.5 degrees Celsius. In this condition, the vital organs are beginning to get cold. Below 30 degrees Celsius, signs of life are very difficult to detect and the cough may be mistaken for dead. Now we will see the etiology. What were the causes? The first cause of hypothermia is cough born after dystocia, which leads to hypoxia and limits the mobilization of body lipids and ultimately reduces thermogenesis. Other causes include environmental stress like cold or wet ambient weather, cough born saturated with uterine fluids, use of narcotic drugs, emaciated animals, cough, diarrhea, over sedation, anesthesia, or damage to thermoregulatory center. Looking at the clinical signs of hypothermia. In mild type of hypothermia, the first sign and symptom is vigorous trembling along with elevated pulse and breathing rate. Trembling elevates muscle thermoregulation and decreases heat loss by limiting blood flow to the body extremities and delivering blood to the body core. The cough has cold extremities, cold nostril, pale cold hooves and ears. The cough also shows impaired teeth suckling activity which leads to malfunction of gastric mechanisms and lack of absorption of immunoglobulins and nutrients. In this severe type of hypothermia we see muscle rigidity which is due to decreased circulation of blood to periphery and results in a buildup of acid metabolites in the muscles of extremities. We also see metabolic acidosis 
which is due to accumulation of acid metabolites in the extremities muscles of the body. Cough has fixed and dilated pupils, irregular gasps, and at terminal stages due to low cardiac output and hypoxemia leads to coma and death of the animal. And here we discuss the management and medicinal treatment of hypothermia. According to management point of view, avoid exposure to cold, wet, windy weather. Attempt to raise body temperature. Keep animal in preheated room or shed. Use thermal blanket or heat pads. According to medicinal point of view, we use pre-warmed dextrose solution, 10, 25 or 50 percent. We can use corticosteroids to prevent or treat shock. To manage hypothermia, we can use warm humidified oxygen therapy. Rectal anema can also be done with lukewarm water. Raise body temperature slowly over a period of time. Otherwise, hypothermia leads to hypothermia, which is more critical than hypothermia.